welcome to Select Arcane. Back in October, I posted a video about making a tiny public library. Those are the kinds that are in front of people's homes and they donate books to improve literacy in their communities. But the point is to drop off a book and choose one from the box for your own reading pleasure. In that video, I promised to make another video about how to make your own customized books. In this video, I'll actually be showing you how to make your own customized book with your own content. Some previous skills in Photoshop are recommended for this, but I will try to make it as clear as possible. Let's get started. Before we begin, if you want to print out any books that are already in publication, such as classics like Moby Dick, Lord of the Rings, or anything like that. Please only print them for your own use and do not print to sell. Hobbyists, including desktop stables, have a lot of free to use files that are based on current in publication works for your own hobby pursuits. This tutorial is a hybrid of YouTuber The Square to Spares book tutorial and Link Hearts book tutorial. I found it a lot easier to find a book cover template on Google and then import it into Photoshop. I'm using a previous photo manipulation that I completed a few years ago as the book cover template. You can design your cover any way you like. I did it in this case was that I resized my photo and made sure that it did not overlap the spine or hang off the cover. Next I created a new layer in Photoshop and used the paint bucket tool and filled in the entire image with a similar color to the photo. In this case, I used the eyedropper tool on the sky. I made sure that my template layer was the level above the filled in color. And then I dropped the opacity of the template so that I could still see what I was doing. Look to other books around you for inspiration. This photo manipulation is called The Fries of Life and therefore I just titled the book The Fries of Life. Playing off that theme, I kind of made it a self-help book and wrote some silly testimonials on the back. You can also write on the spine and add a little logo for the publisher if you so choose. Clicking on my template layer, I used the cut tool to cut out the little barcode and stuck it onto the layer above so that it would show up as part of the book. Hide the template layer and look, now you have a book cover. Save your book cover as a JPEG and then import it into Microsoft Word. You can see I already have my previous book cover that I already made already uploaded at the proper size. And as you can see, when I upload the Fries of Life, it is absolutely huge. I use a Mac, hold down the shift key and scale down your image. 3.46 centimeters is approximately the size of a one ninth scale book. And as you can see, it matches up with Madara, my previous book. For those curious, holding down the shift key just allows you to see the real dimensions when you print it off. Copy and paste a few times if you want a few books and run it right through the printer on regular A5 paper. As you can see, I created a few extra book covers just because I wanted some extra variety for my library. Cut each individual book cover out and then use masking tape to go over the top of the cover. I know what you're going to say, but wait, why would I just put the masking tape over the entire thing before I cut it out? And that's because I find it a lot more sturdy and gives the book a lot more durability when the tape is able to be all over the book and not just the top cover. This project leaves a lot of scrap paper, which we are going to use. Take your book cover and measure on your scrap paper three long strips. These strips need to be the length of your book. If you're making a magazine, you only need two strips. Take your strips and fold them over three times like so. Cut off one end and use Elmer's glue all and cover the entire spine of those pages. Make sure it's fully glued and add your book cover. I like to sandwich it under something heavy at this point so that it dries flat. Repeat this process for however many covers that you printed out. I think I'm gonna be here a while. 
And that's it. Now you have one ninth scale books. These fit perfectly within the little library, and they're also perfect for your doll to read. If you're going to be participating in the little barn raising challenge, I highly recommend that you add these books to your tack room or any sort of setup that you create. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram at Select Arcane and on Facebook by the same name. Thanks for watching. Bye.